All right, shalom, shalom, Akim. All right, before we get started, we have to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Rokakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and taught us the truth according to the Bible. And shalom to all the brothers out there throughout the full conserve, pushing this word in our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. GMS Riley, North Carolina. And we're just uh, coming back with another lesson, man, with, uh, you know, basically the elect of the nation of Israel, all right, consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The elect of you, all right, is going to be immune, all right, exempt from judgment. Uh, that's about to come, man. All right. Mm -hmm. But if you're not a part of that number, you will suffer death and destruction. You know. And I'm gonna get this word immune, and then we can get the scriptures, whatever scriptures brothers want to okay. bring out. Huh. This word immune or immunity, it says to be free, to be exempt. It says not paying a share or performing services. You know. So that means what? Well, you're free of something. And the thing that the elected the nation Israel is gonna be free is free from judgment. You know. You know, so we can get whatever scripture is on. St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 21. It says, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, mm. no, nor ever shall be. Mm. In the time that we're coming in, Jacob's trouble, all right, that's to you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, it's about to be a horrible time out here, man. Mm -hmm. Tribulation, great uh, uh, troubles, afflictions of all kinds, man, okay? You know, that's going to be coming upon you. But in the in these last days, the elect are going to be immune from that. Even though mm -hmm. we're going to be seeing it and going, like, being around it, we're going to be immune, being free and exempt from actually uh, having to go through it ourselves, man. Right. right? It says, uh, here's the point. Verse 22, and except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. Mm. But for the elect's sake, those days should be shortened. And if for the elect's sake... The days of trouble will be short. It's not going to be a long, drawn-out period. The Lord, uh, is, I know, uh, can Brother Cookie get uh, Ezekiel 7 and then uh, verse 8? Because um, the Lord says he's going to shortly pour out his anger upon our people. You know? That shortly means it's going to be in a fast, rapid time period, man. Yep. But in that time period, it's going to be great uh, death and destruction. Mm -hmm. And the elect are going to be saved out of those troubles, mm -hmm. you know? Just to bring out that scripture going into the point of the lesson... Everything's about the elect, you know. That's right. Uh, and these times we coming on, we coming in. The famine that's about to take place. The scriptures say, "My servant shall eat." Mm. You know, um, different wild beasts and you know uh, uproars of the people, martial law. The scriptures say, "Yeah, some of us are gonna get locked up for you know for tribulation, and some of us gonna be martyrs." But at the end of the day, it's all about the elect. That's you right. know, the elect is gonna like their brothers going into the word immunity, man. Receive immunity. That's right. It says not being and having to pay. The share of, yep, you know, so we don't got uh, Lord's will be a party, like we don't got to pay for everything that we did. The Lord, uh, wiped, had a, clean. Yeah, wiped the whole slate mm -hmm. clean, the water, brother. Okay, mm -hmm. you probably got the Ezekiel and stuff. Come, this is Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 8. Now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee. Then, yeah, that short period of time, that's why the Lord said, What that he's gonna shorten the days for the elect's sake because mm -hmm. within that, he's gonna sh pour out his fury quickly upon our people man okay keep me reading bro and accomplish my anger upon thee so it shows you that the lord is coming very angry man all right but within that anger he's only going to have mercy upon the elect of the nation israel the 144,000 men prophets all right and the one-third men women and children who believe okay well, bro. and i will judge thee according to thy way mm -hmm. and will re recompense thee for all that abomination. So everything that you do, your ways goes into your conduct, your action. The Lord's going to judge you for those things. All right. And he, and he said he's going to pay you back for all the things that you've done. All right. So mm -hmm. if you're not what well, doing the will of Yahweh by Shemiah or Shai, you know, which is written in scriptures and brothers bring it all the time, you know, you're not eating shrimp, crab, pork, lobster, doing everything that the Lord told you to do to the best of your ability, you know, you're going to suffer death and destruction. And it's going to be very uh, quick in that time period, man, you know. Mm -hmm. Any uh, any other? You got the uh, Ezekiel uh, nine. Yeah, this is Ezekiel chapter nine, verse four. <clears throat> In the Lord, Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, mm -hmm. through the midst of Jerusalem. Uh, and uh, Jerusalem was a people for us a place taught by you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay. And keep reading, bro. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cr that cry. Mm -hmm. 
for of all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. That sigh and cry that, that for all the what the wickedness going in, going on in this place, America. All right, there's gonna be a mark, which you go into that word mark in the Hebrew is the wa, which means an exemption from judgment, that immunity, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and when you look at something, when you're immune from like like a disease, that means what? The disease doesn't affect yeah, it doesn't you. Affect you yep. and so, so that's the same thing that was gonna be happening in these last mm -hmm. days. The affliction, the uh, the calamities, it might, cause the virus, it might hit you, right. but it's not gonna affect you. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're gonna be going through. The virus, or what you look at what's going on in this world, the calamity that's gonna come, we're gonna be around it and stuff, but it's not gonna affect us. Lord's will mm -hmm. be a part of the elect. Yep. All right, keep on reading. You wanna say something? Bro? No, I'll, um, I got a precept, but we'll wait afterwards. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Verse five. And to the others, he said in my hearing, go ye after them through the city mm -hmm. and smite. And that's the death angels. So the first angels, which you, when, you, when you read in Psalms 37, uh, 34 and 7, it says the angels camp, uh, can camp around them that fear him mm -hmm. and deliver of them. That's for the elect only. Those that are immune to the, uh, the death and destruction. Mm -hmm. But those that aren't, the Lord said to the death angels to go through the city and smite, which means to kill. Can we read them, brother? Let not your eyes spare, mm -hmm. neither have ye pity. Meaning all of the two-thirds of the nation of Israel, majority of our people are going to die. You know, they're not going to be immune from the judgment of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Verse 6. Slay utterly old and young, mm -hmm. both maids and little children. That's right. And women. All right. So no one of the two-thirds will be spared. All those that are wicked, okay, they're going to suffer a death and destruction. Mind you, like we keep on saying, what the elect are they're gonna be immune, exempt. They're not have they're not gonna be um partakers mm -hmm. in the end of destruction. They're gonna see it but not be uh share the same death. Right. You know? Right. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark. <laughs> that's right. Don't come upon any man that is what who is it, uh, immune, who's exempt mm -hmm. and stuff. And Lord's will, you know, that we're doing everything in our power to what? To be a part of that number, making our call and election sure, man. Mm -hmm. You know? You want to be a part of that uh, that number, man, because if not, you will suffer a horrible uh, judgment. The Lord said horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation, man. That's right. Okay? You know? And that word mark, that word mark for Ezekiel goes into the mark of the Y, which means the mark of exemption. That's right. You know, that's immunity. That's yeah. yep. <laughs> Got it. Got it. says, and begin in my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. It's a beginning of my sanctuary. So those that know that they're Israelites, it's going to start at us. So we're going to start seeing those that claim that they know that they're being Israelites get judged because they know better. You know, mm -hmm. they should be the ones that will get themselves right with the Lord now. But you got people who claim that, you know, they know that they're Israelites, but they're still doing wickedness. The Lord's going to start at his house. Mm -hmm. All right. And so that's why what we tell brothers that hey, it's time to get right quickly yep. because death and destruction is coming, all right, down the pipeline, and it's really here, and we're just waiting for the Lord to have things pop off, man. That's right. You know? But Lord's will we be a part of the elect? Then what? We'll be exempt from the death and destruction. You got a precept? Right. Yeah. Yep. Right. Psalm ninety-one, verse. I made the point. Verse right. seven. It says, "A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right side." But it shall not come nigh thee. Mm. You know, a lot of people are going to die in the, in, in the, the plagues the Lord's bringing. Ultimately, those um, the thermonuclear destruction. That's right. All right. So the the elect Lord willing part of that number is going to be in midst of, in the midst of all that, like you was going into earlier. You know, the the the, the um, martial law, all these things are taking place. These different plagues the Lord's bringing. Um, but it's not it's not going to come near the elect. It's not going to the elect is not going to be judged by those pestilences those different You know diseases and uh, sorrows and lamentations mourning woes mm -hmm. that Lord is bringing man Yeah, kind okay. of Lord says what the pestilence shall not come nigh thy dwelling. Yep And that's wherever you stay at and a pestilence mm -hmm. could be yep. more than just a disease It could be yep. just a destruction destruction. Yep. It's not going to come nigh where you dwell mm -hmm. It might be around you, but it's not going to affect you, right? And that's what we want to be a part of that number. That's why brothers is pushing hard that Lord's will, we'd be mm -hmm. a part of that number, the elect of the nation of Israel. So you got, um, they're getting ready to um, use the task force to force the um, vaccination on people. But the right. Lord might have it where, you know, if you're part of the elect, he might make your house invisible, might make you invisible. They might run up in your crib and they don't even recognize you and your family sitting there on the couch, man. That's right. He might turn you invisible so, you know, they don't see you, right. you know. 
have a where a thing where they accidentally skip over your yep. accident you know we say accidentally but yeah, you know yeah, the lord yep. that skip over your yeah, house yeah. man you know yep. so you just gotta have faith and trust in your by shimmy shot because lord say that these things are gonna happen that lord's gonna be, gonna be exempt from that judgment you gotta trust in the lord that you you know that the lord's gonna do these things for you you know any brother got any pizza i'm gonna read a little bit more kind of, kind of. verse eight only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked yes so sure. we're gonna see the um reward of the wicked which are the edomites the so-called white people you know, start with the elites on down and um, these heathen nations and two-thirds of the nation of Israel That's right. who didn't want to repent and seek the Lord. So we're going to see a lot of our people die. We're going to see a lot of people die. That's right. You no, know, again, going back to what the brother saying through the spirit, we're going to be in the midst of it. You know, if we're Lord willing, we're part of that number. Okay. But the Lord is going to keep a refuge or protection around the elect, you know, and that's a promise that the Lord is bound by his words. That's right. That's you know, right. it says, um, verse nine, because thou has made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation and you look up the word refuge it means a, a safe haven safe haven yeah. you know when you're in that safe haven nothing is touching you from the outside mm -hmm. just like an ancient one you ran into that great tower the army can't come in yep you know that drawbridge is lifted up they can't come into the to the area man mm -hmm. so it's the same thing with us in yahweh bashi mm -hmm. lord's going to be part of the elect the elect they're exempt from judgment because they're in yahweh bashi mm -hmm. you know that's right and one last one it says verse 10 there shall no evil befall thee. Mm. Evil meaning bad times. That's right. You got Jake losing their job. Jake is miserable right now, man. Losing their jobs. Jake is in um in a soup kitchen lines trying to get food. All right. But, <laughs> yeah, you know, you got brothers catching hell and whatnot in the truth. But guess what? The Lord gave us the ministry. He gave the brotherhood. Mm -hmm. So brothers have come together to make sure, you know, brothers are good, man. But that's, and in general, the Lord is making sure that no evil is going to befall, you know, his, his, his people, man. The, the elect, ultimately, that's what it boils down to. You know, and we always pray that we're part of that number. That's right. You know, it says, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. That's <laughs> Verse 11, for he shall give his angels charge over thee right. to keep thee in all thy ways. So you're going to have angels, Psalm 37 and 5, you just quoted it. You know, the angels of the Lord encamped around those that fear him. So you're going to have angels literally protecting the elect. That's right. You know? That's right. Just like in uh, ancient times, uh, ancient uh, Egypt. That's you know? right. That's right. Anybody have any pizza before we close? Uh, Revelation 15. Huh? Yeah, we get that, bro. This is Revelation chapter 15, verse 1. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous. Mm -hmm. Seven angels having the last plagues, for in them is filled up with the wrath of the Most High. That's right. And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast. Mm, and that's the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, when they're up in them chariots looking down at what the destruction of America, from the Lord what made them exempt from the judgment that they were seeing. You know, so they're looking at the judgment that's going on, man. Lord's going to be part of that number, looking mm -hmm. down at all the death and destruction, man. You know? All right. Can you read it, bro? And over his image. And over his mark, mm -hmm. and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having hearts, having the hearts of the Most High. Mm -hmm. They're singing to the Lord, praising Yahweh by Shemal Shai, mm -hmm. that what? They were found worthy to escape the yep. death and destruction, man. Because a lot of our people are not worthy to escape uh, the death and destruction, man. You know? That's right. You know, so Lord, will we be a part of the elect that we're exempt, you know, from all the judgment, man. And, you know, all the brothers and sisters that listening. You know, you know, you gotta pray that too, that you be a part yeah. of that number, man. All right. And it starts with fear. first and foremost, yes. repenting. You That's know, right. you gotta repent, come back to your nationality. You the Hebrew Israelites, the greatest people on the face of the earth. The Lord created us to be a special people unto himself, man. Mm -hmm. All right, you gotta fear the Lord. You know, right. it starts there, man. But hey, we in those times, man. So you either get it or you don't. But the train is moving on. That's right. You know? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Last question. Got one? Go ahead. It's the same Matthew chapter 16, verse 28. Verily, I say unto you, there be some standing here which should not taste the death, mm -hmm. could they see the Son of Man in his kingdom. Yeah, you got some Israelites uh, 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 of the elect that's not going to taste death. That's right. You know, they're going to be going through different things, man. But the ultimately, the Lord is going to make sure they don't have to go through um, dying on this side, man. That's right. Now, there will be some martyrs for the truth. Thus say the Lord, thus say the Bible. But the Lord's gonna give them the spirit to 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 die with integrity, and they're gonna be the first ones being up in the chariots. That's right. Pursuing, I believe, First Thessalonians, the fourth chapter. Yep. Then again, how is shall rise right. first? Yep. You know. So you know that's a beautiful scripture. Is some some of the elect 
will not taste death, man. But ultimately, even those that die that are martyrs for the truth, hey, man, get everlasting life. That's right. That's right. You know, so Lord's will is, hey, man, we be exempt from that judgment, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because we don't want to suffer the death and destruction that's about to come, man. That's right. about to be very horrible. All right, so hopefully this lesson was edifying, you know, to the elect of the nation of Israel. Before we close out, let's give all praises, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father, his only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kapadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and taught us the truth according to the Bible. And shalom to all the brothers out there that the full cons are pushing this word and our righteousness and sincerity. Until next time, to the elect, we say shalom. Shalom.